la voz de la gente, un voz libre en América. La voz de la gente, the voice of the people, the voice of liberty, and liberty is freedom. Now, I know what you're thinking. Freedom from what? Ladies and gentlemen, there is a big fat roadblock to societal evolution right here in America. And no, I'm not talking about an idiot who sits on half his brains. I'm not talking about a self-confessed half-wit. For those of you in Rio Linda, that means he doesn't have the brains of a turnip seed. Computer, get that picture off my screen. There, that's better. No, I'm talking about the two-party system. And I'm talking about the forces of reaction who are behind the scenes, pulling the strings, calling the tune, and making the two-party system dance. That's who I'm talking about. But the two-party system has an Achilles heel. And I'll have more on that later on in this video. But first, I'd like to share a few words from a great and learned man. The Democrats are a party of no ideas. The Republicans are a party of bad ideas. And the only thing worse than a Democrat or Republican is when they work together. Thank you, Mr. Lewis Black. You are a great American. Now, before I talk about that Achilles heel, I would like to mention that about a hundred years ago, there used to be a very strong and vibrant labor movement here in America. The good and decent men and women of that generation put their lives on the line for many of the social gains that we enjoy today. I'm talking about the eight-hour day, safer conditions in the workplace, the right to strike, the right to bargain collectively for the fruits of our labor. But then, on the other side of the world, there was a revolution in Russia, and a crony capitalist finally got his comeuppance. The reactionary forces here at home became concerned about their own wealth, their own profits, their own land, and there began an era of political repression. The Attorney General at the time, Alexander Mitchell Palmer, just started rounding up people by the hundreds and shipping them out of the country. He jailed political leaders, labor leaders. The intelligentsia of America was decimated. The FBI was created, affectionately known as the National Political Police and they began infiltrating community groups and social organizations. Congress created the House on Un-American Activities Committee and started harassing people for simply enjoying their political rights and freedoms. All of that was done by the two-party system for the reactionary forces. So let's get to that Achilles heel. The only way the Democrats and Republicans can turn Congress into a three-ring circus is because people still keep voting for them. The solution is simple. Just stop voting for them. That's all you gotta do! Now you still have to vote, but you don't have to vote like a dummy. There are plenty of other political parties available. It doesn't matter how old your computer system is, you can get to Wikipedia and find a party that represents your values. After all, you are the government. You are the voice of liberty. You are the voice of the people. La voz de la gente. Viva la gente! Viva! Viva la gente! Viva! Viva la gente!